Hematological changes in pregnancy. So in this series, we are looking at the physiological changes taking place during pregnancy to match the increased needs of the mother and fetus. And in this video, we're looking at changes in the blood. So in pregnancy, the total blood volume increases by 30%. It increases from around 5 liters to 7.5 liters of blood by the third trimester. So in fact, pregnancy is referred to as a high volume state. Now the blood volume is actually composed of the plasma volume and the red cell mass, which constitutes the red blood cells. In pregnancy, there is a minor increase in the red cell mass by 20 to 30%, but a greater increase in the plasma volume by around 45%. Therefore, there is increased dilution of the red blood cells, resulting in a lower hematocrit. Therefore, in pregnancy, we refer to a state of hemodilution, and this dilution of hemoglobin and hematocrit levels results in a physiological anemia of pregnancy. So explaining this again, we've got a graph here showing percentage change against gestation. So as we can see, we have a progressive increase in the total blood volume throughout the pregnancy. There is a greater percentage increase in the plasma volume, however, in comparison to the red cell mass, as we can see over here. Good. Next, so in pregnancy, there is also a rise in the white cell count, and this is mainly due to a neutrophilia. The platelet count in pregnancy decreases, and this is due to increased destruction of platelets by immune factors, and this is referred to as a gestational thrombocytopenia. Next, so you might have heard pregnancy being referred to as a hypercoagulable state. So there is increased coagulation and blood clotting going on in pregnancy. Why? So essentially because of increased coagulation factors, increased fibrinogen levels, and a decrease in antithrombin-3 activity. These all increase the risk of thrombosis in pregnancy, making it a hypercoagulable state. A small side note, so even though these changes are noted in pregnancy, the INR APTT levels remain unchanged. Lastly, a quick note on iron metabolism in pregnancy. So in pregnancy, there's an increased iron demand, as well as increased iron absorption. This increased iron demand is mainly due to the increase in the number of red blood cells we mentioned initially. Although there is increased iron absorption to counteract the increased iron demand, sometimes this may not be enough, and therefore pregnant women are at risk of iron deficiency anemia. So those are the physiological, hematological changes in pregnancy. Thank you. Like and subscribe.